and then regarding your second point, which is the quote unquote con content moderation that's in the paragraph B, so 28B, 4B. <laughs> uh, so we're still analyzing the language. Um, we're thinking about how, you know, this the gen generation of illegal content, it's not worded as such, but um, that's, that's the idea. Uh, we're, we're still thinking about how to, that will be interpreted again and whether that will cover copyright infringement. Uh, and if so, well, how will, you know, the balancing mechanisms of copyright, either external or internal to copyright law, how these mechanisms are going to play out? Because we need to ensure that user rights are respected. So we can look back to Article 17 of the DSM, you know, the upload filters provision that provides ample um you know, valuable lessons in that context. Um, because we, we've seen that if we are going to have safeguards in place to filter, quote unquote, you know, the potentially copyright infringing content, well, those safeguards, or, and, and these safeguards really should include um, human oversight, because as we know, filters are notoriously bad at identifying perfectly legal uses like parody or pastiche or even use of CC license content. So what we're saying is that we really need to ensure that um, if there are uses that are based on freedom of expression or other kinds of uses that are legitimate, they need to be permitted. And those safeguards need to leave room for, for that. Um, and if we want to go one step further, so if AI were to generate potentially infringing content, well, we would need to rely on copyright standard analysis. And that is, you know, substantial similarity between the two works at stake. And here we need to be very discerning about what is unprotectable content, right? What are the facts? What are the ideas? What are the, what they call sans affaire, you know, these kind of garden variety or like commonplace elements, all these things that may be part of content, but are non protectable under copyright and that they need to be excluded from the comparative analysis between the two works. So it's really early to tell. And I guess over time and with more uh, cases being assessed, we'll have more clarity on how copyright applies. Uh, to, you know, potentially infringing outputs. What's certain is that the courts will need to balance the interests of right holders with those of users because we need to protect these legitimate uses. So private uses, quote unquote, transformative uses, and ensure that they are legally allowed under exceptions.